Hi everyone, Stacey Weider here on behalf of Campus Mortgage with part three of a three-part video series on credit qualifying the borrower for USDA loans. Now just a quick reminder before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice or used in place of USDA guidelines. Also this video was issued on March 6, 2018 and the information contained in this video is subject to change without notice. So let's take a look at the last few general credit requirements. When it comes to federal judgments, generally the USDA will not allow the borrower to have an outstanding federal judgment other than one that they've attained from the United States Tax Court or a delinquent non-tax federal debt that has not been paid or satisfied. No established credit history. So the USDA will allow alternative methods. So for example, a non-traditional mortgage credit report or multiple independent verifications of trade references. Home ownership counseling. The USDA does not require home ownership counseling unless it is provided or sponsored by a rural development or another federal agency in that local area. Otherwise, the lenders are encouraged to offer or provide it to the applicants, but are not required to have them take it. All right, that concludes this three-part video series. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips and videos, please visit campusmortgage.org to look for their weekly mortgage video tips designed for all mortgage professionals, including underwriters, loan officers, processors, closers, and post-closers. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.